Hello, everybody. This is Mrs. Pollock, and gosh, I miss you guys. I hope you are doing well. Uh, today, I wanted to tell you about another book using the Sora app. So I'm already on uh, Launchpad. I've already gone through Library Resources. I'm going to click on Spread down here. And the book I want to talk about today is called Song for a Whale. It's by Lynn Kelly. And this is such a good book. So this is the one I have for you. Um, this book is about a, a person named Iris Bailey, and she is deaf. She can't hear, and she's the only deaf person in her family. Her mom's parents were deaf, or are deaf. Um, she's the only person that can't hear at her school. So she has an interpreter. Um, she has one friend who is deaf and his name is Wendell, but he goes to another school that's actually for students that are deaf. Um, and through Iris's science class, she hears about a whale and the whale is called Whale 55. And this is a whale that is all by himself out in the ocean and he can't com communicate with anybody. Um, and the other animals, the other whales, just kind of ignore him. So he is literally out there in the ocean swimming around by himself. And this book has, a, has an, the theme or the idea of loneliness and isolation, the fact that he can't communicate with others the way that whales normally do. Um, and of course, there is a parallel because she can't really do that either. She can't really communicate with um, her dad, who doesn't sign very well. Um, Iris gets the idea that maybe this whale is deaf like her. And so she recreates uh, the sound waves that that whale makes and she mixes it with sound waves that other the other whales do make. Uh, because she's into electronics and she's into the the hertz and the sound waves um, and how they feel. Um, and her idea is, now that she's made this recording, is to play it back to the whale and maybe he will recognize it because it's a little bit of himself. Um, and she's in communication with the scientists that are trying to track the whale uh, up in Alaska. So... It's kind of interesting because she's doing a lot of communications uh, just on the computer. That's so much easier for her. And of course, I see real similarity to what we're all doing now with our distance learning. Uh, but this is a real good book. I think everybody would enjoy it, especially with these ideas in here. It's called, um, I'll let you see it down there. It's called A Song for a Whale, and it's by Lynn Kelly.